The other type of figure that we're working to, with today is the volume of a cone. And if you look at your green paper, once again, you'll see that the volume of the cone is going to be um, one-third. We've got a circle for a base, so the area of the circle is pi, not pi squared, pi r squared, times h. So when we get down here, we're simply going to use our formula in Desmos, and um, so our volume is going to be one-third times pi, notice that the directions say leave our answers in terms of pi, our radius is 7, and then the height of our cone is 12, and then we can type that in to our calculator, and we've got one-third times pi, and it says leave answer in terms of pi, so I'm not going to times by pi, I'm going to times by 7 squared times 12, and that gives us 196. Remember, we left our answer in terms of pi, and then our units, our feet. When we look at letter B, the thing that we need to be careful with is that we are given not a radius, but we're going to need a radius. We're given the diameter is 14. And if we have that the diameter is 14, the radius is half that amount. And then what we want to do is we want to fill in the formula. Well, the volume equals one-third times pi. And again, we've got the 7. And then this time our height of our cone is 18. So we barely have to change anything that we multiplied from the last problem. The only thing that I need to change is um, the 18. So I'll change that to 18, one third, times seven squared times 18. I did not type in the pi because we're gonna leave our answers in terms of pi. And when we uh, press enter here, we get 294 pi and our units are feet cubed. Once again on problem number four, what we have is we have a slant height. You can see it better in this picture than you can on the front page. I'm going to turn this for a minute. But this is the slant height, and what that means for us is that we need to figure out the height of our cone. But if we think about it here a little bit, and actually we know the height of the cone clearly because here we know this is 15, we know this is 17. What we really need to find is we need to find the radius on there. And it doesn't matter what letter you use, but from the center of the circle to an end point on the circle, there's the radius, and we're going to use the Pythagorean theorem. Our Pythagorean theorem being r squared plus 15 squared equals 17 squared. I didn't put this in, but I should have put the right angle in to indicate that 17 is the hypotenuse. It's across from the right angle. When we solve this, get r squared equals, and then if we do seven, uh, 17 squared, minus 15 squared, exactly what you would type into Desmos, we get 64. And then what we need to do is we need to take the square root of 64 to get our radius value. And the square root of 64 is 8. Now that we know that, we can fill in our volume or fill in those values to find the volume. It's going to be one-third times pi times 8 squared times 15. Radius, height of the cone. So one-third. Don't have to type in pi. So times 8 squared times 15. 
and we get 320 pi. centimeters cubed. Lastly, the cone has a volume of 108 pi cubic meters. If the cone has a height of 9 meters, what is the radius? So once again, formula is volume equals one-third times pi times radius squared times height. And what we know, it has a volume. We're going to put the 108 pi in over here for the volume. The one-third and the pi are still there. We don't know what the radius is, but we do know that the height of the cone is 9. So there's a couple ways to do this problem, but I'm going to start and let's see what one-third times 9 equals can't see it very well because it's too dark, but it equals 3. So what we have then is this is 108 pi. When we multiplied 1 third and 9, we ended up with 3, and we still have the pi, and we have the r. Well, now that we know that, again, what we're trying to find is the radius. This is 3 times pi times r. So we're going to divide both sides by 3 pi. And what happens is that the pi's cancel out. Pi divided by pi is 1. 3 divided by 3 is 1. Pi divided by pi is 1. And then when we take 108 and divide it by 3, we end up with 36. So um, I did forget one thing here. So it's not r equals 36. I needed r squared here. So luckily, just fill in the r squared back there, which I forgot to write down. But now, uh, just to show my work a little bit better, um, we have 108 divided by 3 is 36 equals the r squared. And then to undo the squaring again, what we have to do is we have to take the square root of 36 and when we take the square root of 36, we get 6. So 6 meters is our radius. One more time just to summarize because I forgot to write that squared there. We multiplied 1 third times 9 to get the 3. We divided both sides of the equation by 3 pi. When we did, 108 divided by 3 is 36, and then to finish we had to take the square root to get our 6.